Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to tell you about creating rubrics in Google Classroom. So let's create a rubric. To do so, we have to create an assignment. So give it a title and you can give it a description. And I notice that create rubrics sometimes takes a minute to show up. So just wait that second and then bam, it's there. And you can do criterion titles. So this might be, so let's say I ask students to uh, put a diagram in there and then I'll do three, two, one. So th like three will be um, exceeding. Then we'll do two and I have it by descending. You can change that, but I'll do, I like descending. And so we'll say that's meeting and then one will be uh, and that's one point progressing and then zero would be like no diagram right and then i de i highly recommend typing in your descriptions uh fully before you then cl click this button here cr duplicate criterion because then you'll be copying and pasting so here for exceeding i would say diagram is very creative and gives perfect explanation. I'm really just not using good terms right now, but I want to show you that. So I can either add a criterion here or I'm going to duplicate it. And then here I would just change this name. So this might be drawing instead of a diagram. And then I could change it. You see, I could change things really quickly by using that duplicate criterion. Pretty nice give some more descriptions, whatever it is. And then right when you're, whenever you're ready, you can hit save. And it's in there. And so it right now it's six points. I would make the grade the same amount of points. And I can always go in there and, you know, I can three dot edit and then go in and edit all these things. But I like the ability to quickly add other categories, other criterion to duplicate criterion. That makes it a lot, lot easier to create these things in Classroom. Of course, if you are wanting to reuse, because this doesn't save, so here I'll just, uh, well, I can just get out of it because I don't think I made any changes. Um, it doesn't save. So there's no separate rubric, it's just in the assignment. So you would reuse post to reuse a similar rubric and then you could edit that one and so on and so forth. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.